Hi friends, I wanted to go through some empties with you, but I've just got the call that they need me at work tonight. So yeah, I have to do that. Um, but it's overtime, so that's really why I agreed. Um, but so I'm going to try to keep this semi-quick, because I do need to like make sure I have everything I need for work and... Yeah, so I got that text. I got an email from work saying the cash drawer was short today. I didn't work yesterday or this morning, so not me, but they sent it to everybody. What else? I don't know. They don't want us submitting corrections on our time cards. I don't know. It's all electronic. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, I can't do this sometimes. It's crazy. <laughs> But we'll go through some empties and just forget about it. I won't have to work with money tonight anyways. Um, this is my favorite heat protectant for dry hair. Um, this is Dry Bar. This is a heat protectant mist. It's called Hot Toddy that you use before um, flat ironing or curling your hair. They also have one that's a cream that's for before blow drying. So it's for use on wet hair that's similar. Um, I like the spray. I like to do it before I'm directly using heat because I typically my curling iron or my flat iron is going to be hotter than like a hair dryer. And I feel like if you're putting too many products on your hair, you don't get the results you want. Um, but you also got to protect your hair. So, you know, win some you lose some um native deodorant this was blood orange and clove and this was the sensitive one so it's aluminum free and baking soda free it's okay um now that they put synthetic fragrance i'm not repurchasing but i had that one in my stash so i did use it up um thieves foaming hand soap um love this i have the refill so i will wash this i'll like boil water in my electric kettle and wash the pump really good or it'll get stuck it is a little dirty right now but you won't get the foam the way you want if you don't wash them really good or like soak them to make sure they don't gunk up um so that's a problem with like all foaming hand soap dispensers is people don't realize you have to like heat the water and clean them really well before you just refill them or they get weird um Thieves Laundry Soap, my fave as always, from Young Living, Ritual Vitamins, Essential for Women, another pack of these, I order those every month, they're on auto ship so I don't even have to worry, it. they just show up, I get the email, hey we're processing your order in however many days, and then they'll say hey, it ships, Sponge LA from the Private Reserve Collection, we have Patchouli Rose, that one was pretty good. Um, jumbo cotton balls. These were the ones from Walmart. I just grab a bag wherever I'm at. Doesn't matter. Um, cotton balls are cotton balls. Um, Hask charcoal with citrus purifying dry shampoo. I think this is part of the set that my sister got me for Christmas a couple of years ago from Target. So it's like a mini dry shampoo this was pretty good um I don't know if I would repurchase it but I definitely would use it if it was available to me um inner defense soft gels from Young Living so these are good for boosting your immune system just protecting your body because you never know what you're um coming into contact with when you're out in public or if you're me and you're like at the hospital all the time because of work or, you know, obviously I live at Disney World, so there's a lot of visitors here, there's a lot of guests, they could be bringing who knows what from wherever they're from, um, to the grocery store or to the parks even, um, and we don't think about gas stations, restaurants, stores that we're coming into contact with that because we do think of, you know, the visitors are going to the parks or you know, their hotels or whatever. We don't think about that. They do go to all those other places like we do as well. Um, super vitamin D, good for helping you absorb other vitamins. 
so that's why I take that. And if you don't get out into the sun enough, I know, you're like, you live in Florida. Yes, I do, but I work night shift a lot, which is what I'm going to do tonight, and the next night, and the next night, and the next night. So I'm not going to be in the sun really at all. Even leaving and going to work, I'm not really going to be experiencing sunlight for an appropriate amount of time. So, you know, um, it's time to say goodbye to my Beauty Counter Color Pinch Cream Blusher in Hibiscus. Um, these have been discontinued for a hot minute now. Um, they were basically replaced by the refillable Cheeky Clean Cream Blushes, um, which are like skincare and makeup together. Um, still like a nice cream product. I do like the stick form. A lot of people love, love this. But this has been discontinued and is out of stock, so... It, it's on its last leg anyways. I decided it was time for it to go. So there it goes. Um, these hand sanitizing wipes. We know I like to keep those on the counter to wipe up little messes. Um, changed our toothbrushes. So molar biodegradable toothbrush. So you can just snap off the head. You can toss that out. And the rest of your toothbrush is um, actually compostable. So I like that. I'll recycle all of this packaging and help the earth a little bit. Um, rail organic tampons. I messed up and bought the cardboard applicators. I didn't mean to do that, but super, I always buy super. Just that's what works best for my cycle. So that's what we do. Um, some more cosmetics that it was time to just say goodbye to. So this is the Tarte. Park Avenue Princess bronzer. I probably only used that a handful of times to be honest. It just didn't sit quite right on my skin. Eh. Um, the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter for Face and Eye. This is Pearl Flashes Gold. This is one that I liked quite a lot. It's just so big. Like who needs 6.5 grams of highlighter? It's gonna last forever and that one did. I don't even know when I purchased that a long time ago. Um, so it's time to go. It's probably expired. Verb Energy Dark, no, not dark, double chocolate bars. Um, so there were 12 of these in here. I do like the double chocolate, but sometimes it's a lot. Not something I would choose for like every day. They are caffeinated, so I don't eat them every day anyways, but, um, I like to keep a couple in my lunchbox because you never know who's going to need a snack, even if it's not you something little something um a fresh washing machine cleaner so you should be cleaning your washing machine not just washing clothes in it um i do mine every other month i don't know it says do once a month but i do every other month and then i do my dishwasher on the opposite months and then um, my garbage disposal i do every three months because I don't use it a whole lot mostly just water and soap going down there so I don't do it as often as I probably should but every I do every other month that's just my preference and then it doesn't feel like oh, if I don't do this everything's gonna be dirty whatever um, it's not like a you must do this or you're gonna die thing so Tic Tac. So these were the naughty and nice ones from Christmas. My mom bought me both packs. So these were the nice. These were the candy cane. I was keeping them in my bag at work. So that's why they're gone. Um, time to say goodbye to this because I'm certain that this should have been said goodbye to a long time ago. So Bath and Body Works. Coconut Lime Breeze Body Mist. It definitely doesn't smell good anymore. It doesn't smell right anymore um and we're saying goodbye to synthetic fragrance i don't like to throw out things without using them up because that's wasteful but at the same time like i'm putting it on my skin but it's at the point where it just doesn't smell right so it's time for it to go um q-tips this package is celebrating a hundred years of the ultimate home and beauty tool so q-tips don't put them in your ears um even though we all know people that do it 
to make good granola bars. So these are the chocolate banana, which I think are really good. I also like just the chocolate chip ones and they are allergy friendly. So their facilities are free from peanuts, tree nuts, dairy, egg, wheat, gluten, soy, sesame, fish, and shellfish. So if you have any of those allergies, you don't have to worry about eating these. They are safe. Um, the problem with a lot of granola bars is yes they are free of those things but they're made in facilities that could potentially cross contaminate the, their ingredients with those allergens so it then potentially makes it unsafe for our friends with allergies um another makeup that needs to go away the ColourPop take me home palette i know i bought this when i was in college it's a six pan eyeshadow. They're pretty big and it actually has a mirror in there and they're cardboard but with the magnetic closure which is super nice. Um, great for travel but time for it to go. Six panty liners. There are 20 of these in each one. That's what I have been using. It says they're OBGYN approved and made by women, so whatever. But I like them better than some of the other brands on the market so that are like clean. So that's why I bought those. Bottle of rubbing alcohol. This is just from Walmart. I do sometimes go over my face with rubbing alcohol. I know you're not supposed to do that, but also good for cleaning bumps and bruises, making sure nothing's getting gross and infected. You obviously don't want to overuse it because it is going to kill the skin cells potentially. If you're like overusing it, you're going to actually hurt yourself. But um, yeah. Um, what's this? Oh, the Monet Scalp Purifying Scrub with Rejuvenique. We have hard water here, so it's kind of gross. Um, I did order a couple of things to try. This is the first one I've used up. It was okay. I think it's a little pricey for what it is. And as far as being modern nature, I, I don't know how I feel about some of the ingredients there are things that I don't know what they are and there's synthetic fragrance so I know there are a lot of people who have said I used Monet and my hair fell out my hair didn't fall out it was fine I also didn't buy the whole line and I have noticed something that I'm uncomfortable with is the consultant that I purchased from and other consultants that I'm friends with I know more than one um they pretty much say you need to buy the whole line because it only is going to work if you use it all together. You're not going to see results unless you purchase everything. And I think that's kind of a nasty way to market personally. Um, and, and as a consultant that sells skincare products, like, yes, it's meant to be used together, but that doesn't mean you won't see results if you only purchase one item. Obviously, it's meant to work together. It's going to go together. You know, there are times when you're mixing and matching things and it's going to mess with stuff because of the chemicals. So, it might not be quite right. But um, then, obviously, you back off, remove the thing you added, try again. Um, because it might just be the mix of products you're trying. But I don't think it's appropriate to tell someone that may not be able to just throw a bunch of money at your products to say, hey, you have to use all of it or it's not going to work. Like, I just think that's silly. And if that's so, then how are you making any money? Do your friends, are, are all your friends just made of money that they can just throw cash at you? And Like, I just think that's crazy to be that way. But I've seen my consultant in particular say several things to that effect of, oh, it's not going to work for you. You weren't seeing results because you're, you didn't buy the shampoo, the conditioner, the heat treatment, the scalp scrub, and the hair serum. Like, you only purchased the shampoo, 
shampoo doesn't work by itself. Like, that is silly. Oh, you used your other conditioner with it? Well, that's why it didn't work. Like, that's crazy to tell people, like, to come off that way. I don't know. And obviously, she has plenty of people that buy from her. That's great and fine. Um, if I decide there's something else I want to try or that I really like one of the other products I have, then I'll repurchase from her. But I'm not going to replace every single product in my shower just because you say the products work better together or they're made to work as a unit. Um, and I don't know very many people that can afford to do that personally. So that's my feelings on that. I don't have a problem with the company. I do have a problem with it being modern nature and having synthetic fragrance among other ingredients that who knows what they are um, in there. But just the way some of the consultants speak, I don't agree with. Um, this is Soul Soak um, Epsom Mineral Salt um, from Way of Will. I got this from Fun, and it came with like a bottle of essential oil that obviously is synthetic and these mineral salts. I use these for foot soaks. I did not use the essential oil. I threw it away. Um, but use that up. I try to foot soak at least once a week. I don't always do it. But it's a nice way to spend a little time on yourself. You know, just take a minute. Alright, I'm at the point where I'm having a hard time just pulling a couple of things out. Um, pop mask, starry eyes, self-forming eye mask. These were kind of fun. I don't know how useful these are. <laughs> um... But it was, it was kind of fun. It was something different. I got those from FabFitFun. Um, another something that needed to go. This is a Jouer Funfetti Highlighter. This is like a mini size. I think that I got in a little mini set from Sephora. It's fun. It has a mirror in there and everything. Um, but I didn't use it very much. And it's kind of... It has a lavender and pink undertone. Which I thought was kind of weird. Um, Beauty Counter, the Clean Dio, so this one was Clean Rose, just the refill, because I have two cases, so just refills are all you're going to see from me for the most part, but this is my favorite deodorant, not the rose scent, the coconut's actually my favorite, but same, same, right? Um, another bottle of Super Vitamin D, I do take this every day, there are 120 in each thing um but sometimes when I'm at work I think sometimes I double what I usually take just because I forget because I don't know what time it is or what I'm doing um some young living thieves hard lozenges so I go between buying the hard lozenges and the cough drops I don't really prefer one over the other. I just buy whatever's in stock. There's 30 in each bag. They cost about a dollar difference depending on which one you prefer. But they're not both in stock all the time. So I just grab whatever when I'm needing or wanting it and go from there. Um, more cotton balls. These are from Walgreens. Like I said, I just buy them from wherever you know you need cotton balls to sometimes get stubborn eye makeup off remove nail polish um if I'm gonna rub rubbing alcohol on my face or like toner I don't tone every day and obviously single use cotton balls are wasteful but I'm not gonna wash something that has nail polish remover on it just because I feel like that's potentially not safe for my appliances so, you know, you gotta give something up one way or the other. Oh, one of these free smart waters I got from FabFitFun. This one's Clarity, which was ginseng and green tea extract. This one was pretty good. I didn't think I was gonna like it because I don't really like ginseng. And I definitely don't like green tea. But it wasn't, it was a barely there kind of taste. So, we like that. 
Let's see. Let's do three more things, and then I'll stop because I do have to get ready for work. Um, thieves of fruit and veggie soak. If you're not soaking your fruit and veg before you eat them, you're missing out because if you see the things that end up in the bottom of that bowl, ugh. so I pour some of that on there, cold water, let them soak five or ten minutes, rinse, add more water, soak, usually it'll bubble a little at that point, let it sit five or ten minutes, rinse, and do cold water again. So for the third time, um, so two that are just water, but that middle one, I feel like there's still soak in there. So I do that third thing. Okay, let's see. Okay, so last thing we got, Ooh, more makeup that needed to go. Tarte Twinkle Stick. So this is just a highlighting stick, and when I got this, I wasn't really into the cream highlighter I really like to powder everything um which defeated the point of this but this is the shade skylight it was just like a white highlight um but yeah I didn't really use it it's definitely expired and then um a young living lavender bath and shower gel so they have a whole line of different scents this one's probably the most calming I think there is the peace and calming one as well there's sensation there's like a morning one that's citrusy did I say sensation I don't know there's a plain that's just base and you can add whatever you want to it um but obviously be careful about overloading it um what else is there what is it it's morning start and evening peace maybe Maybe it's not peace and calming. Maybe it's just the evening peace one. I don't know. There's like five or six of them that are available. Pre-mixed. And then there's the plain base. So, yep. We'll stop there because I've probably done more than I should. And I definitely need to get ready for work. And I'm going to be super tired tonight. Um, because I definitely wasn't planning on going to work today. And I know I'm working the next three nights as well. So... Then I have a couple days off, but it's when my family is here, so I'm going to be doing things with them, so it's not like just taking a break, even though to everyone at work, it probably is like, oh, Hannah's taking a break. That's not really what's going to be happening, but, you know, whatever. It's all overtime because I've already worked two days this week, so after tonight... Everything else will pretty much be fully overtime. So, sucking it up. <laughs> but I will catch you guys later. Let me know if you've tried any of those products. If you know of things I need to try that are similar to any of these things that I like. Um, obviously, I need to talk faster and keep my reviews shorter. Because sometimes I do ramble. But I gotta go to work. See you guys sometime. Don't know when it'll be because obviously I'm going to be working and working and working and working. And then my family's going to be here and then I'm going to have to work work so that I get my hours for next week. But see you later.